And let's just grab a cylinder and we'll just uh, draw that out and give it a little bit of height. Okay, and let's get that radius of maybe, we'll try one. Okay, let's do maybe 1.2. Uh, okay, and let's also move it to the side here. Let's just push it outside there. And you can hit Z on the keyboard to uh, zoom on your selected piece. Okay, so we'll just push this back a bit on the X, just until it touches the side. Okay. And let's see, let's give this a height of, let's do maybe one on the height as well. And we don't need any height segments. Let's leave the cap segments at two. And uh, I'll also leave the sides at 30. And that's a lot of sides for something this small, but uh, I think I'll just go with it so it's smooth. But if you're uh, concerned about the poly count, uh, you can take this down a bit, all right? Alright, so we'll just do that, and let's right click and we'll create this to Edible Poly. Okay, and let's go in here and we'll grab one of these edges here on the front. And let me just change the color of this piece. Okay, we'll do a ring on that, and let's just add an extra segment in there. Okay. Alright, so with that uh, loop selected, we'll just click one in the next loop down and do another loop on it. So we got both these edge loops selected. And then we'll control click vertex to get a vertex selection from that and we'll also select the center vert okay so we have all the verts on the front selected besides the outside edge okay and in the front view here let's just move this out a bit to round it over okay we'll call it a bit like that all right and then we'll go back to edge and we'll just loop this edge again here and control click vertex and then select the center one again. And we'll just move this ring out a bit. Okay, just around the face over slightly, like that. Okay, and in the left view here, let's go back into edge, we'll grab the center edges here. Let's do another connect. We'll just take the slide up a bit. Okay, let's do maybe. negative 30 or so on that and okay and we'll just bring this loop out just a little bit let's also do the vert so we'll control click vert and select the center one and we'll deselect the back ones and the uh, front view here so we just have the front select it pull that out just a little bit and we'll go to polygon and we'll select the middle pulleys and actually let's delete the back pulleys first so we'll just select the uh, whole bolt here all the polygons and we'll hold alt and just deselect the front one so we just have the back cap selected okay we can just delete that we don't need it and now we'll go into the left view and just select the uh, center polygons there all right we'll do an extrude and we'll take this down a bit let's punch it in and we'll just do something like maybe negative 0.4 and okay and let's go into edge and select the edge on the inside and the front one here. We'll do a loop on those two. And let's chamfer that down. Okay, we'll take that down pretty small. Let's do about 0 0.02 on that. And okay. And we'll grab the outside one here and do a loop and a chamfer. And let's do maybe... Let's do maybe 0 0.03 on that one. We still want it to be pretty tight. And okay. And I think that's good enough for our simple bolt. So we'll get an edge and we'll just name this bolt 01. Okay, let's center the pivot point on it. So we'll go to the hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, centered object, and then we'll hit the button again to turn it off. All right. Okay, so we have these kind of just randomly uh, placed around here. Right, so let's do the top strip first. Okay, so we only have one in the first section, then we have three in the second section here. So let's just move this down maybe a little bit. Okay, and then we'll hold shift and drag a copy on the X. All right, and we'll do that again to the other end here. Okay, and we'll just line it up similar to we have it over here. 
and then we'll shift drag and copy again and we'll try to center that uh, between the two okay so just eyeball it it doesn't have to be perfect just like that right let's see let's maybe grab this one here we'll do another shift drag okay and I'm gonna do this pretty quick just to save some time so I'm just gonna shift drag a bunch of copies around okay let's do maybe these three here we'll shift drag those to the center try to center them in that hole okay let's grab these two guys here drag those over okay and let's do the same three here just like that and we'll do one more here okay just like that and let's see let's just maybe put another one here just for some extra detail okay all right so just like that okay so let's hit H and we'll also um, you can also get to that by just hitting this icon up here the objects uh, list okay so we'll just select all of our bolts okay and then I'll deselect both end ones all right and we'll just bring these down to the next line and then we'll skip one and uh, just do a couple more copies okay so we're just gonna hold shift drag that down to here all right Okay, and then we'll shift drag again down to the uh, next section and we'll just skip out the middle uh, section here okay so let's do something like that and we'll do that one more time let's bring these ones down to the bottom okay and these ones here let's just drag right through these guys and we'll deselect the grill and the barrel so we just have the bolt selected and we actually want these uh, down here at the bottom line okay just like that okay and we'll do a couple on the side uh, strip here right so we have two at the bottom and we'll just place a couple in there this stuff really doesn't have to be accurate um, just do it quickly okay so we'll just move this one over and let's just center it here Okay, I'll put it a little closer to the uh, right edge of our uh, strip going up the side. And we'll just move that out a bit more to make sure you can see it. All right, just like that. Okay, and I'll push it in a little bit more. All right, so let's just shift drag a copy of that down on the Z. All right, and let's just slightly move these a little bit over. Okay. So on the left view here, I'm just going to do a couple copies. Let's do it up here maybe. Okay, and let's grab this guy here. We'll just move that down a bit. All right, then we'll select both of them. And we'll shift drag them down here. All right, and we'll grab the top two on the end here. And shift those down to the bottom. Let's do something maybe like that. Okay, and I'm not going to line these ones up. I'm just going to leave it offset like that. Okay. Alright, and now we'll just select all the bolts on the side. Okay, so I'm just going to deselect the barrel and deselect the grill, as well as that side piece. Alright, so we just have these uh, eight bolts selected. And we'll just uh, clone those over to the other side and line them up. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so let's just select everything and we'll make it black. And we'll put that shader on there. Okay. And just take your time on that. I know I went fast on that part, um, but we have a lot of uh, 
other pieces to model as well as a lot of uh, bolts and other things to add and we're gonna have to do those pretty quickly okay so just take your time and line these up the way that uh, you want them to look or just uh, match the reference picture exactly if you really want to okay so I think I'm just gonna say that's uh, good for that part all right so let's go into the left view here okay and I'm just going to drag right through the middle here and then I'm going to deselect the barrel so we just have the whole grill piece on the side select it okay so the grill the bolts and both side strips all right and I think we'll just do a group on this and let's just uh, call that grill and okay and then we'll just center the pivot to make sure all right and let's go into the uh, top view here and let's do a mirror and we'll do a copy on the X and OK and then we'll go up to the move tool and right click that all right and we'll just all right we're just going to take the uh, minus sign out of the X axis here okay just to flip this over onto their side and I think we're a little off on the barrel for the uh, center grid line so this might be a little bit off but we'll hit just uh, Take the minus sign out and then we'll hit enter and I'll uh, move our copy over to the other side and yeah we're a little bit off here so we'll just close that. All right, so let's select the barrel here and we'll center its pivot point. Okay and let's see let's actually select everything. Okay and I'm just going to move this over manually to the center line. All right. Okay, just like that, that'll make it easier later on when we have to do other copies. Okay. And you can turn your grids on with G. Okay, so we'll select our, our copied group here on the other side. Right. And we'll just push this back a bit until it intersects the surface. Okay. And we don't want to go too far or else our bolts will uh, disappear. Right. So just take it in a bit like that. Okay. Right, and I'll take care of the other side. Okay, so I think that's uh, okay. All right, so I think we'll uh, start moving on to the other pieces before we finish off the barrel. Um, we still have some hinges to do, uh, but I think uh, we should move on just to make sure that we get everything in. Okay, so I think we'll start working on one of the legs next. Okay, and actually before we move on to the legs, let's actually put this bottom piece in here, all right, just to get that out of the way. Okay, and it's pretty simple. Um, let's see. You can see it uh, doesn't come down all the way. It comes up short uh, on the end here, pretty much in line with the uh, edge of the grill. Okay, so let's go back to this picture here. Okay, and I think we'll just make this out of a simple box. Alright, so let's go into the top view and we'll grab a box. Let's just draw that out. Okay, give it a little bit of height. Alright, and we'll move it down to the uh, right end here. Okay. And then the left view here, let's just actually move it down to the bottom. Okay. And we actually want it this way. Actually, no, it's the back. Sorry about that. Just move it up here. And let's see, let's center the pivot point. Okay. And for the size on this, let's do let's do maybe 230 on the length. And for the width, let's do maybe 65. And let's do maybe eight or so on the height, All right? Okay, and let's position this better. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it down, and we'll just come down just a little bit in from the end, okay? Just so we have a bit of a, a reveal there, okay? Let's also move it up, and we'll just push it into the bottom slightly. 
Okay, and let's also uh, right click the move tool and we'll just zero out the X spinner just to make sure that it's centered. Okay, and let's right click and we'll convert this to edible pulley. And let's close this. Okay, and we'll go into vertex and let's just grab the inverts here in the left view. Okay, and we'll just pull these down a bit. Alright, let's just go slightly past this edge here. Maybe just like that. Okay. Okay, and you can see we have the, kind of a tapered angle on the front here. Alright, so let's go into poly. Select this bottom polygon and let's just do an extrude on that. And we'll just do that 10 for now. And OK. And let's see, in the left view, let's just move this down slightly. Okay, and we'll go into vertex and we'll grab the front two verts here. We'll just pull those back a bit. Whoops. Right, just a bit on the Y. Then we can maybe go back a little bit more on that. Okay. All right, let's grab these uh, verts in the middle here and we'll just move this up just a slight bit just to make that a little bit thinner at the top. Okay, and the bottom can maybe come up a slight bit too. Okay, I think that's about the size we're looking for. Okay, and let's actually pull the front ones back just a bit. I think that's a little too close to the end. So let's select all the verts on this side and we'll just pull that back just a bit. Okay, something like that. All right, let's go to Vertex, and I'm just going to change the color of this to blue. All right. And let's see here. You can see we kind of have a lip that comes out around the uh, back of this and the sides. Okay, you can kind of see it here. It doesn't come all the way up to the front, but uh, it comes right to this uh, seam here, right, and around the back. So let's put that in. All right, so let's zoom in here. We'll go into edge. Let's grab one of the front corner edges here and we'll do a ring. So let's do a connect. Let's just do one segment and we'll just slide that up a bit. Okay, let's do maybe about 50 or so on the slide and okay. And then we'll go into the left view. Let's select all the center edges and we'll do another connect. Okay, we'll just do that uh, one segment with no pinch or slide and okay. Then we'll come down here to the Make Planar Options and let's just hit Y, all right, just to straighten that edge out. Okay, and you can see this one comes to just past this uh, seam here, right? So we'll push the edge over and let's just line it up right about there, maybe. Okay, just like that. All right, and let's uh, go back up here and we'll go into polygon. I'm just going to go into wireframe with F3 and we'll just select the top polygons and we can delete those. We don't need those ones. Okay. Okay, so let's go in here and with uh, polygon selected, let's just select these polygons here. Okay. So just the uh, two side ones and the back one. All right not the front ones, just the three other ones, okay, and we'll just uh, come around here and then we'll do an extrude, okay, and we'll do that local normal, and we'll just bring this out a little bit, okay, so we'll dial that down, all right, let's do maybe six or so on the uh, extrusion height, let's actually do five, just to make sure that it's uh, not sticking out too far, all right, just like that, and okay, and then we'll go uh, into wireframe again. And I'm just going to turn on ignore back facing. And we'll just select the top polygons for those extrusions, okay? Just the three top ones. And then we'll delete those. Okay, and you can see this edge is the. Uh, a little bit soft here and it's kind of rolled over and it's uh, softer than these other ones okay so let's just chamfer that down so we'll go into edge and just select this one here right let's do a chamfer on that 
And let's do that about one, and then we'll hit apply, and we'll bring this down a little bit more just to give it a double chamfer. All right, we'll do the second one about 0.5. Okay, just so we have a, a nice transition there. All right, and now let's grab this one up here. And I think I'll actually do a loop on that edge. Okay, and we'll chamfer this one down. And let's take that down a bit. Let's do maybe 0.25 on that one. We want it to be pretty sharp. And OK. Let's go around the back here. And let's see. Let's maybe... Let's invert the selection by hitting Control i OK. And then we'll come in here and we'll just deselect these uh, four edges. OK, holding Alt. All right, and I think we'll just leave the rest and select it. You might want to deselect the top edges. Okay, so I'm going to turn off ignore back facing, and in the side view here, I'm just going to hold Alt and deselect these edges. All right, and then in the front view, we'll just deselect the top ones here. Okay, just make sure we get them all. All right, so. Just like that. And let's chamfer these down all at once. And we want these to be pretty tight. I uh, can see that's a pretty hard edge. So let's do that maybe 0.25 as well and OK. And we'll see how that looks. OK, let's name this piece. And we'll just call this barrel base. And let's change the color to black. Okay, and we'll put that gray shader on there. And let's also put a uh, smooth modifier on there. And we'll just hit auto smooth uh, just to get rid of any of the fauceting that we have on these chamfers. Okay, so that looks pretty smooth. I think we'll go with that. Okay, and we'll come back and we'll add the rest of these details uh, later on. But I think we should move on to the leg. Okay, so let's do that next. Okay, so let's take another look at the reference here. And you can see these legs are pretty beefy. Um, it's not that complicated. Uh, I think we'll just start with a box and then we'll add the uh, other details later on. Okay, so let's go into the left view. All right. And let's just uh, drag a box out here. So go into the create panel and grab a box. Okay, let's just pull that out. You can see this comes up just a little bit short of the top of the grill here. All right, so we'll come up almost to the top. We'll just draw out a box. Okay. Yeah, and we'll give it a little bit of height. And let's also right click the move tool and we'll just zero out the Y spinner, all right, to make sure that it's centered. And let's see, for the width of this, let's just move it out to the side. Yeah, let's put it out here a little bit away from the uh, barrel. All right, and I'll just change the color of this. Okay. So let's go into the modify panel here and let's do maybe let's do maybe 230 for the height. Okay. And Let's do maybe 80 or so for the width and maybe 30 for the height. Okay, and I'll we'll smooth this down a little bit. All right, I'm just going to bring it down slightly underneath these bolts here on the side. Okay, just like that. Okay, and we can adjust the uh, height and stuff later on if we need to. All right, so let's go in here. We'll right click and convert this to more poly. Right, and we need to taper the top in a bit. Uh, so let's just add, add a segment across the middle here. Right, so let's go into Edge. We'll select these four edges and do a connect. And I'm just going to do one segment and hit OK. And you can see this starts tapering in, in here, uh, just above the bottom of our uh, box there on the base. Okay, so let's pull this down a bit. Maybe something like that. All right, and let's grab the top verts. Okay, and we'll scale these in on the X a bit, right, just to get a taper on that. 
And let's do... Let's actually bring that out a little bit. I think we're way too narrow on this. Okay, so let's bring these out. And we'll actually widen the base a bit, maybe. Okay, I think that's a little bit closer to what we're looking for. Right, and I might move this segment up just a little bit here. Right, just like that. Okay, and you can see that the base here is uh, kind of a weird shape. We got all these angles going all over the place here. Alright, so we got kind of the side ones coming in, and this one looks like it's straight down, and then we have an extrusion in the front here. Okay, and we also have a cut in the back uh, for the hinge or the axle, actually. Okay, so let's go in here and let's uh, go back into Edge, and we'll select these edges here and do another connect. Okay, and we'll just move this down a little bit. maybe just like that. All right, let's select an edge here and we'll do a ring and a connect. Okay, let's do two segments and we'll just pinch those out. Okay, and you can see here that we have uh, kind of an angle going right from the corner here down to the center and then this one's going back um, away from us. Okay, so we'll add a loop here that's pretty close to the the uh, outside edge. Let's bring that up quite a bit. Let's do maybe about 90 on that. And OK. And then we'll go into the uh, perspective view here. And let's see, let's... Let's grab this vert here on the corner and the one on the other side. Okay. And let's see, in the front view, Let's just drag those back a bit, okay? And we just want to bring it back a bit, not all the way. We'll have to make the leg a little bit thicker, I think. Okay, so we'll just pull this over here. Maybe just like that, okay? Then we'll select these other two verts here, all right? And in the front view, let's just scale those on the X in, all right? Now give us the angles that we're looking for. Okay, so we'll bring those in, maybe like that. Okay, and let's go into edge again and select another edge here. We'll do a ring on that. Whoops. Okay, and let's do another connect. Okay, we'll do uh, two segments. Okay, and let's see. Let's just bring these out slightly. Maybe something like, let's do maybe about five or so on the pinch. Hit OK. And then we'll go into vertex. Let's select these two verts here, two middle ones. OK. And in the front view, we're just going to scale those out. Right. And we'll match the back edges that you can see through there. OK, just like that. All right. And then we'll go into vertex, and in the front view, we'll just select all the verts on the front edge. And we're just going to pull that back slightly. Okay, just like that. And you see we have a bit of a re uh, reveal here too, so we'll pull that back maybe something like that, just a bit. Okay. Then we'll go into polygon, and we'll grab this front poly here. Okay. And we'll extrude this out. Okay, and we'll just do that 10 and a right. Okay, and let's go into vertex. And we'll just straighten off the bottom. Okay, and we'll grab the top verts here and we'll just pull those back for a second. Right? Just like that. And let's go into polygon, select this top poly here and delete it. And then we'll go into vertex and to target weld, and we'll just weld this vert to this one and this one to this one. Okay, just to give us that. Uh, tapered extrusion that we need. Okay, and then in the uh, front view here, we'll just select these verts on the front. Let's turn off target weld. Select these ones here, and we'll just pull those back to straighten the edge out. Okay, just like that. 
right? And let's make this leg a little bit thicker, all right? Let's go into the front view. We'll just select all the back verts. Let's just pull that over a little bit, all right? A little bit more, maybe. Okay, let's do something like that, and then we'll get out of vertex and we'll just move the whole thing to the left. All right. Okay, and I think we actually might want to pull these back a little bit more. So let's go into vertex and we'll grab both sets of these. We'll just pull it back slightly. Okay, I just want to have a little bit more of a um, edge on this extrusion. Okay. All right, I think that looks uh, about right. So let's go underneath here and we'll go into polygon and let's turn on a north back facing. Okay, we're just going to select the bottom polygons. Okay, we'll delete those, we don't need them. Right. Okay. And we're actually going to turbo smooth the upper part of the leg, but not the bottom part. Um, I think we can probably detach this and just get away with some chamfered edges um, rather than turbo smoothing it. Because with all these weird angles here, it's probably going to be. Uh, quite hard for us to add all the support edges we'll need. Okay, so let's uh, untick uh, ignore back facing, okay, and we'll just go into the side view here and just select the bottom polys, okay. Okay, just everything up to our edge here where these uh, start angling. Okay, we'll go over here to the detach. Okay, we'll just detach that as a uh, leg base. Okay, and make sure you don't have either of these boxes checked. Okay, so let's hit OK, and I'll break that off as a separate object. All right. And uh, you can see here we have a kind of a cut in on the back. So let's add that. Okay, and it's pretty much in height with the uh, grill part here. So let's add an edge in there. Okay, so let's go into the left view. Go back into edge. Uh, make sure you have ignore back facing unchecked and we'll just select all the edges here. Okay, we'll do a connect on that and we'll just do one segment, uh, no pinch. We'll just slide this down a little bit, okay? And I'm just going to come down to around the bottom of the grill, okay? So about 23 or so on the slide, okay? Just like that. Then we'll select an edge on the corner here and do a ring and a connect. Okay, we'll slide this one towards the back. Let's see. Let's do the about negative 65 or so on the slide with one segment. And we'll uh, hit OK. Then we'll turn off edge and we'll go into isolation mode with Alt Q. Okay, I'm going to come around the back here. We'll go into polygon. And let's just uh, select all these polys. Okay. And we'll just delete those. All right. And now what we'll do is go into edge. We'll just uh, select an edge here and do a loop. Actually, let's not do a loop. We don't want it to go around the front. Let's just manually select these edges here along the back. Okay. All right, so just the five edges on the back. And I'm going to go to the move tool. I'm going to hold shift and just drag them in on the X. Okay. And we'll just try to line this up. Let's control click uh, vertex, okay, just so we can see where the verts are. And we'll zoom in and we'll just move them in to match the other ones there. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's go back into edge, and that edge should still be selected. So we'll hold shift and drag up on the Z, okay. And in the left view here, we'll just pull this up until it matches the top. All right, just like that. Then we'll control click vertex again. And we'll just scale this in on the X, all right, just to get the taper, all right, just to the edges match, like that, all right. And now we'll just need to weld a couple places. So let's select the vert on the corner here, the two of them. Okay, we'll just open up weld and just make sure you have a difference of one down here. If not, just go up on the threshold uh, a little bit until they uh, snap. 
So hit OK there, and it will come over here. Select the two on this end, and we'll hit Weld. Okay, and then up at the top, we'll select all the uh, verts on this line. We should have 12, and then we'll just hit Weld, and make sure you have a difference of six, and OK. All right, so that's all welded up. Okay, let's just start adding some support edges here. Okay, so we'll go back into edge. All right, let's just select the uh, one on the corner here of the lip. Do a ring on that and a connect. We'll do two segments, no slide, and we'll just pinch those out a bit. Okay, let's do maybe about 70 on that and OK. Then we'll come up to the top here, select an edge there, do a ring and a connect. Let's pull that out a bit. Let's do about 90 or so uh, on the pinch for that one and OK. Okay, then we'll need a couple this way. So let's select this edge here and do a ring and a connect. And I'm just going to do one segment, no pinch, and we'll slide that down to the bottom. Okay, we want this edge down here to be uh, pretty sharp, but the top one uh, needs to be a little bit softer. Okay, so let's do one. Let's do that about 98. And OK. All right, and we'll select the edge here again and do another ring. All right, another connect. Okay, we'll just take this up to the top. All right, let's do maybe about negative 94 on the slide for that one. And OK. And we'll also need one underneath the uh, this part here. Okay, so select an edge there, do a ring and a connect. We'll take this up. Let's do about 94 on that one too. And OK. And let's see. Let's put a turbo smooth on here. So we'll turn off edge and throw a turbo smooth on. Okay, and we'll do two iterations in ice line. Okay, we'll just see how this looks. We might need to sharpen up this uh, little hip here. Okay, so let's turn off the turbo smooth. We'll go down into uh, edit poly again. Right. Let's just select uh, a edge on this loop here, and we'll just do a loop on that. Okay. Then I'm going to turn on the Turbo Smooth, and I'm going to turn on the Show and Result button. Okay, so we can see it's subdivided. And we'll just do a chamfer on this. Okay, and let's just do that about one. And okay, now it'll give us a little bit of a sharper edge there. Okay. So just like that. So let's exit isolation mode. We'll see how this looks. Okay, I think that's looking uh, pretty good. Uh, the top might be a little bit sharp, but I think I'll just leave that. If you want to soften it up, um, just go back into Edge. Okay, let's turn this off. And just do a loop on this one here. Okay, and then come down here and put your edge constraint on. Okay. And then just slightly move this down a bit. Okay, and the farther that gets away from the top, the uh, smoother this uh, curve or softer it'll be. Okay. Okay, I think I'll just leave mine like that. And we'll name this leg while we're at it. Okay, and let's uh, change the color to black. And we'll throw that gray shader on there. Okay, so that's one of the legs done. And we'll come back later on and add on the uh, other details here, the doors and these uh, brackets and things. Okay, so let's uh, add some chamfers to the base. 